very warm well welcome. Let's talk 2007 champion Kimi Raikkonen. Now, it is it time for him to retire as former drivers and a teammate of Raikkonen's, Coulthard and Ralf Schumacher, have called for Kimi Raikkonen to retire. Should Kimi Raikkonen retire? Should he stay? Should he go? It's a question that has been asked for a while and we're at that point where we need an answer. Calls for the 41-year-old to finally call it a day are by no, me no means a new thing, but they've been growing louder in recent times. That was already the case prior to the Austrian Grand Prix, with Giovinazzi looking the stronger at the Alpha drivers. And at the start of the season, I predicted Giovinazzi would beat Kimi Raikkonen in a drivers this season. It was a bold call, but I see Giovinazzi, I think he's improved quite a lot. Now, is Raikkonen on the decline? Is Giovinazzi improving? Um, and then, obviously, at the Red Bull ring, a very clumsy mistake by Kimi Raikkonen that took out Sebastian Vettel. And it was a complete misjudgment, especially when they weren't even fighting really in the points. Ralph Schumacher said the Finns driving was senseless and embarrassing, while David Coulthard wondered out loud whether he's too old now. I was 37 when I quit. Quotes from the former driver. Suddenly you're making mistakes you don't want to admit to, but it's you. I noticed that I had to I noticed that it had to do with poor concentration, especially towards the end of the race. And obviously that did the Raikkonen and Vettel incident did happen very late on. We saw the same thing with Michael Schumacher in his last year. That is a good point actually, because Michael Schumacher was making so many clumsy mistakes that he would never make in his prime. He used to make so many clumsy mistakes when he was in Mercedes. I mean, Raikkonen, he is a fan's favourite, but how long does he go on? I mean, once he went back to Sauber, Alfa Romeo, that was basically it. He's never going to win a race again. He's never going to be on the podium again. Pole position or a championship. He is a world champion though, Kimi. I mean, look at that. The qualifying head-to-head -head battle, Giovinazzi leads 7-2. But the Finn has beaten him in five of the eight races. Now, Giovinazzi is a strong qualifier, but Raikkonen's better in the race. Is it time for Raikkonen? I mean, he's obviously still got the passion for Formula 1. He's still got the love for racing. Um, yeah, and he just keeps going on and on and on. But it would be a perfect time for him to call a day on his career, going into the new rule changes. Or does he want to continue into the new rule changes and see how the 2022 cars? There's a big chance for Callum Eilat to take Kimi Raikkonen's seat. Maybe a Robert Schwartzman. I can't see Kubica being given the drive. Bearing that in mind, Kimi, at the level he's currently at, is probably a better option than Callum Eilat. Experience a race winner. But... You've got to give Eilat a chance. Delaying his retirement by more than one year would most likely lead to a worse send-off for him. So basically, Coulthard and Ralf Schumacher have called for Kimi to basically retire, in a nutshell. Now, what do you think? I think my opinion is I probably would call it I'd probably retire at the end of this year if I was Kimmy. Um, yeah, he's had a great career, but now he's like, he's kind. If you're gonna be cynical, he's kind of holding up another driver's opportunity. Really, now, Kimmy's had his day. When you look at Kimmy's stats, though, he should definitely have more, probably more than one championship because. He was at the peak of his powers in that McLaren, 2003, 2005, he was very good. Won it in 07, 
his last win at Circuit of the Americas. I mean, he will go down as a legend. He, he hates the media. He gives one-word answers. But he's got, like, a family now. He's would be perfect for him to call it a day this season and then just enjoy his life. So, yeah, comment down below your thoughts on Kimi Raikkonen. Should he retire or not? <laughs>